boy Sir Petty two five eight back with another one toxic as fuck podcast. You see who we got here again? Kelly Kells, Kissy K. What's going on, everybody? Whatever she goes by. I first of all just had a great birthday weekend. Let's let's, let's, let's clap it up for me. Thank you, thank you. How old are you? Big thirty three. You know what I'm saying? It was great. I went to Baltimore, had a nice little boat ride. Went to Top Golf one. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I did all my like romance shit. You know what I'm okay. saying? Did you win just according to you or did everybody? The scoreboard said I won, of course. But what's today's topic? What what we get into today? Um, you know I'm kind of a little pissed off about the vaccination status. You know what I'm saying? I I don't I don't feel like you know like I need to get vaccinated. Okay. You know um I don't feel like I should have to get vaccinated for everybody else's you know satisfaction. If I want to get vaccinated, I get vaccinated. If I don't want to get vaccinated, I, I don't get vaccinated. As long as you got your shot. UBI. So how you feeling about like the government, like New York, right? They're making it like mandatory for you to be vaccinated to go anywhere in the state, basically, or to eat, grocery shop, uh, this, that, and the third. Like, how do you feel about that? Um, I don't. I mean, put it like this: if they're making everybody get like to get groceries, all right, it is what it is. You either gonna live there, or I mean, you don't have to live in New York. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's forty nine other states. You know what I'm saying? So. You can go anywhere. But I feel that's like it's going to travel to all the states. Eventually. I just feel like, you know, everybody has a test. I mean, it may, but, like, doesn't the governor control that, though? No. Nah. Like, I mean, maybe. It's not, it's, not, it's not a federal field. It's federal be all in all the states. So the governor controls, like, how far they go with mandated vaccines. Facts. And you know who their boss is? The president, who's going to secretly say it and when they have those meetings. Hey, niggas, make sure, because now you want to I mean, the president eight. been pushing, two presidents been pushing so far for wearing your mask, but, but te- look at Texas and Florida. But we're talking about, like, um, all right, cool, right? It's always that behind the scene, right? Mm-hmm. Cool. You want grant money? You need these are. I feel like these are just like conspiracy theories. So they right? cut off. You slowly start cutting off your resources. Right. So you know what I'm saying? Like it's still behind the scene politics, and at the end of the day, like, hey, are you, oh, so you ain't follow me on that last uh thing? Cool. Mm-hmm. Wait till you come to you know. I, I almost said that's a tragic thing right now, but you know, wait till you need that FEMA money or whatever like that, and it just comes around full circle eventually. You know, it's still business. Yeah. Um, Will they start fucking with your money? Like, what if, they, what if your job called you? Like, listen, you got to be vaccinated, and you're not vaccinated. What they about already the people? did that. You know what I'm saying? Like, that, that, that's what pissed me off today. You know, just sitting here trying to make me get vaccinated. Like, my issue is, right, um, right. again, if, if everybody else is vaccinated, like, what are you tripping over me for? You know what because saying? it's not saying... When you, did, when you hold down the borders, it's ahead. not, you know what I'm saying, uh, I want... I, not being racist, Mexicans, because they all come from Mexico. But when you stop everybody from walking across the border, like right. bringing in right now it's the deck of the Delta virus. Okay, you got niggas walking across the borders about to bring the Echo and you know what I'm saying all these other damn variants in. When you handle that, then you know what I'm saying you the troll was going on a little better in the U.S. You know what I'm saying? Okay, all right. So, but I feel like this one thing about people who don't want the vaccination because I'm listen, listen, I'm half vaxxed up, right? But I am, I wasn't exactly against it because I am one of those respiratory people who affects more, you know what I'm saying? I was more about the the percentage, you know, the, the, how do you say it? They make sure the uh, vaccine was good, you know what I'm saying? To a certain level because it was so rapid, right? So I wasn't fully against it. But one thing I do feel like people feel like is like you can't get it again if you are vaxxed up, right? Mm-hmm. So for the people who don't have it, if you're still around me and I'm vaxxed up, I can still catch it. Now, it may not be... I may not fully get the whole all the symptoms, but now I go around a family. You know what I'm saying? As far as how we see it, it spreads so fast. So it's not exactly about this individual, exactly, but the grand scheme of things. You know what I'm saying? And we back. Sorry, we had to take a little brief. You know, we got a little phone call, business phone call. But back to what we're saying. So what if they start messing with your money, right? Like all the, cause like my job, they haven't required it yet. But I am one of, I'm in like a position where I'm around the public more. So, like, let's say I don't have it. Or let's say I do have the vaccination, You say right? messing with your money, meaning, like, you can't go back to work? Yeah, like, you can't go back to work. So, I feel like one thing people are trying to say, like, like me, I can't telework, right? There's no such thing as telework for me. Mm-hmm. So, it's either you are in here or you're not in here. And they're not going to pay me for being out. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I feel like people who can't telework kind of feel like they're like, all right, forget it. I'll just be at home. Well, they're like, nah, you're not working here no more. All right, well, I mean, there's other jobs that you can get, can't you? But you're saying that, like, your life still ain't moving. So, cool, let's say it's Monday, right? Mm-hmm. Everybody going to be vaccinated by Monday and you don't work here. It depends it's on how Sunday. much you make. I mean, some people no, that's still what make I'm more money on Let's say you make, like, $20, $20 an hour, right? Okay. By Monday, you got to be vaccinated. It's Saturday. They say, you got two days. By Tuesday, you now have to find another job. You good with that? You got to hit the streets. You know what I'm saying? 
know what I'm saying? Oh, you, oh she must got money for her just, her <laughs> life just to be switching like that. With no no, I'm saying you just gotta hit the streets. You know what I'm saying? Go buy you a pack. And you gotta I, sell the pack now. So like, all right, let's talk about the people who out here who had the idea of using like the fake vaccination cards, right? Because you know the the pack is out there. You saw they they got caught out there. Like New York, I believe, had the first bundle. You know what I'm saying? Try to sneak the OG pack through. You know what I'm saying? What is it with New York though? You know what I'm saying? Like it was New York. Basically, they have to be back fully vaccinated or whatever in order to get the benefits around the state or whatever. Then they the ones getting caught. You know, once they you know with the cars and everything. The, it's like the, the crime crime never stops. Matter of fact, the more payoff there New is, York, the higher. Though. Like what's why New York? Because I feel like because they're a melting pot of everybody. So it's not like all right, this one's like basically black people. You know what I'm saying? It's a little bit of every culture that could get it in. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? From the Haitians, Chinese, everybody. I just feel like New York don't mess it up for everybody. You know what I'm saying? New York has the highest population in the smallest state. There you go. See? We got background produ- production right there with the information. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. So, all right. Let's let's talk Wait, about it like that. Just in D.C.? Hmm. They're, more, they're, po- they're more densely populated in D.C.? I don't know that. So, all right. So, what are you saying? Like, All right. So, how do you feel about the fake Vax car? You think you like a nigga who try to get one? Do I feel like I'm the person that will try you to know get some, one? You know some niggas that might try to get one? I feel like it's not it's not hard to get a vaccine card. I mean a vaccination card. So like if I'm a nurse, right? Right. And unless you sit here like you I got you got twenty cards and you count all twenty like you counted twenty cards when you gave it to me and then you count the record of who got vaccinated. So that means like four people got vaccinated, you should get sixteen cards back at the end of the day. Unless you really tracking it. I mean that's how it's nothing is. for me to sit here and take these cards and just you know, give them out for two hundred dollars a piece. Okay. But now let's say boom, you use the fake vax card, right? <clears throat> all right, right now it's all cool, you know. The, the mandates aren't that, you know, strict right now, right? We just want you to get the vaccination. We hope everything good. But let's just say they literally pull your card, right? Okay. Now, you know... Wait, wait, wait. Why are they pulling my card? Up? Who's whatever, pulling my card? Let's say the vaccine... Is the government right, doing it? Is my job doing like right, who's... Let me, let me put it in. Here, here's the situation, right? Mm-hmm. Delta, right? Breaks out. It's even worse than the uh, original corona, right? Now, every, every five people get in every day, right? Everybody is spreading fast, right? Mm-hmm. They are now... You know, pulling everybody's medical record and say, all right, let's see how many more people got to get vaxxed, you know, to try to keep this thing down. Mm-hmm. They pull your card. The government, forget your job. The government pull your card. Hey, send in your vax card so we can confirm whatever they need to confirm. Now, you're not vaccinated, but you've been saying you vaccinated. Let's let's go with the consequences. Are people fine with the consequences? Like, let's say it's a year in jail, right, minimal. Mm-hmm. Let's say it's a $10,000 fine. As much as, yes, you may not want to get it or you may try to cut that corner, are you willing to really go with the consequences as easy as you acting right now? If I had a vax card, like, okay, so how soon after I got my vax, my uh, vax card that they're requiring uh, we, proof we, of vaccination? We can't tell because this so is So I'm just saying, let's say I've been okay. walking around with a vax Let's say I get my vax card today. I mean, right. a fake vax card today. Mm-hmm. And it is, let's say it's September. I think it's supposed to be September a couple days. So anyway, let's say right. September. And then you don't even ask. You don't start doing all this until November, December. You know? So okay. at that point, I had, what? Six. Three three months or whatever to go and get you know what I'm saying vaccinated. vaccinated. Exactly. All right, but here's my. But thing. If, if I get a vac- fake vaccination card on Wednesday and on Friday you ask for proof, then that's a different story. That's what I'm saying, especially with this whole pandemic thing, right? The one thing I learned: everything changes at at, at a set of moment, right? Mm-hmm. We was just everything was fine before the pandemic. One day, ah, Corona, right? Next day, you got to wear mask. Next day, take the mask off. Next day. Put the mask back on. Next day, we don't need the vaccine. It's optional. Now it's you need it. Up oh, now like it's this mandatory. This is kind of affecting like the workforce too, because you gotta understand, people have been on government assistance. You know, um, getting uh, okay. The extra, they basically been on government assistance for the right. past year. It's hard to get some people to go back to work. People ain't going back and working. You know, what I'm saying the minimum wage jobs. So uh-huh. you think that if you start requiring a vaccination and you already don't want to go to work, right. and then you sit and say, oh, you got to be vaccinated to work here, that people really finna sit here and, like, if you don't want to get vaccinated, that's even more reason for you not to go and work that minimum wage job. You might as well just stay on, you know what I'm saying, unemployment. Okay, you're right for the minimum. All right, I feel, like they're, they're gonna, there, right? I feel like they're going to start cutting those benefits. All right, like I said, I said this to be funny, right? I feel like, let's say, like, you have an EBT card, you might get that federal assistance, right? Mm-hmm. As of right now, right, you may not have to do nothing for it because, you know, it's a whole world to try and deal with. But let's just say, you know what? Because they're trying to make everybody do it. Right now, I feel like they're doing the friendly, hey, we're going to give you a gift card, right? Mm-hmm. We're going to give you a grocery card, whatever. Give you a census. Eventually, they're going to say, listen, when your card runs out, you try to re-up, and you call them, hey, they're going to be like, are you vaxxed? Oh, nah, call us back when you vaxxed and then we can restart your membership in, in a sense. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like everybody plays with it until it's that time, and now it's like, oh, shit. You know what I'm saying? And it might be too late. I feel like the consequences of 
disturbing your life, whether you're on the welfare, whether you're upper echelon, right? When niggas start cutting your money, your benefits, your That's what's well-being. That's going to be more fake vaccination cards getting printed. <laughs> you know, but I'm saying, like, they catching, like, all right, everybody's at the same about the PPP loan, right? Mm-hmm. And you see niggas is going away now. It's cool. It's fun at first. I mean, some of them are, but others is just saying, like, I guess if they're saying, hey, I can't pay it back, you know, or they pay some of it back, or you can have, you have nah. some, like, some sort of. No, I'm saying, like, the people that straight fraud, right? Mm-hmm. Hey, I frauded the system. They're actually going against them because this is a serious thing for them. Like, it's cool. We may not get you right now. Mm-hmm. It's a millions of people. But we are looking into it. We have a whole special service for niggas just for you. Now, when that, those services come in, like ICE or some shit for immigration, it's not that fun at that point. Was it worth it? Is All it right. going to be worth it? All right, everybody. So what kind of level do you Let's go back around production. I don't know what I'm doing. So just you say they can't hear you. I don't think they can hear you. How they supposed to be giving out the booster shot? Right. The, um, I ain't getting no booster shot. Hold on, which I guess I'm going back to your same thing. Booster shots, okay. Get the fake vax card. Right. I'm just going with Kelly's example. Okay. Fake vax card. You take it to work, they don't question. Right. So now they're saying everybody at your job is vaccinated. Right. Everybody's fine. Because we believe everybody is vaccinated based on your vax card, we have hired somebody to come out. So today, everybody getting the booster shot. Mm. Now what you do? I get the booster shot like ain't none of that. <laughs> you know. <laughs> you all know right. That. You were scared to get the vax. Let's, now you gonna get the booster? All right, so no, I just didn't want to get asked because you. Hey, like, she got roll with the line. You Ooh. tell me, you I gotta got roll with the line. I want to do it on my own time. Right. Who's sitting here saying you got to do it? We saying they they been letting you, you do it on your own time. You got the vax on your own time. I'd rather get I'd rather get the I'd rather get one dose than I sit than to sit here like. Basically, if I get the booster, then, then you get, you put something in my body three times. All you know right, what I'm that's so you, how I feel. So like when I went to get my my back, my uh, first dose. Okay. They thought I was in there to get my second dose. You know what I'm saying? I, I just mean, they, like, they ask like, questions. They ask questions like first or second dose. Because I'm like they build on each other. So if you don't have the first, like the first, the second one builds on the first one, right? Right. The third one boosts the first and the second. One. Right. So if you didn't have the first and the second one, and I give you a booster. Like, what, what does it boost? What is it boosting? I mean, technically, the first it's shot can do something to you. Va- All right. Or the second shot, right? So, like, watch, l- let me ask this question. All right, let's fake, fake vax cards. You want to get vax, but basically you're lying, right? Do you feel like it's selfish of you to the rest of the world, to my family, right? Cool. You, it's you not my job. I mean, this is going to sound messed up, but it's not my job to protect your family. It's your job. If you're scared of getting back, like, you know what I'm saying? But I, I did everything somebody, I'm like, supposed to do for my family, right? I went and got vax. I'm wearing the mask. I'm doing exactly what the government is issuing me to do to protect my family. And if I'm and you're sitting here to be my friend, this is not saying exactly you, but let's mm-hmm. say it was you. I'm over here kicking it. We're doing a podcast. Mm-hmm. I may even ask you, right? Mm-hmm. Hey, you vaxxed up, but you're just lying to the world. Now, mm-hmm. some, one of my family members, somebody else's family member, not mine. <laughs> somebody else's family member gets sick. Mm-hmm. And let's say the worst of worst happens. That doesn't like... Unless you can your, prove that you got sick from me. Oh, what if you the yeah. only person? All right, like, all of us vax is cool. The only person that wasn't vax, And then let's, let's say you popped up with COVID or something. You know what I'm saying? So like, somebody's family member got sick. And right. all the people that you come into, I mean, it come in contact you. with. Because, all right, like me, I keep the, since the whole COVID thing, right? Mm-hmm. I keep the same, um, like, you know, everybody goes out once in a while. You know what I'm saying? But let's say I keep the same five people around me, right? So mm-hmm. I kind of pinpoint where it goes, right? Mm-hmm. Yes, you're the one who breached it. I got pinpointed. You don't know what happened because as far I, as you're concerned, I got vaccinated. No, everybody else don't have COVID. You got COVID. Okay, but yeah, I can still get COVID even though I am vaccinated though. I know, but I'm just saying, okay, you're right on that one. So just because I sat here and got COVID and I'm, you know what I'm saying, that doesn't tell you that I'm not vaccinated. It just means, okay, well, she still got COVID. You know what I'm saying? Just because somebody dies from COVID don't mean they wasn't vaccinated. All right, and I feel like this is why the a lot vaccine, of people. Like the vaccine, you know what I'm saying? Certain things affect people's bodies differently. Facts. You know? So you expect me. Like, let's say I'm really young, scared to get a vaccine, right? Mm-hmm. And I feel like it may kill me. Right. And yes, it could kill me, you know what I'm saying, uh, if I don't get the vaccine. Right. But I've been kicking alive and just fine for the past, you know what I'm saying, year and a half. You're saying But then you... all of a sudden, if I get the vaccine, I may not, I may be sick and not be able to take care of my family. So I'm supposed to risk t- taking care of my family okay. so that you can take care of yours. No. So, so you're saying... You you're, take, you have you your want business the full and I have my op- business. You want the full option of what you do with your body. Yes. Okay. All right. I so, feel like there's, oh, well, I'm not going to go that deep. All right. I was finna, I'm going to stretch it and say there's bigger issues. Like, here it is. 
you gonna make me, you know what I'm saying, get vaccinated, but you not making people, you know, like, put it like this, boom. <laughs> I have a better example. Cause this way, like the one I was, the, the example I was gonna use it's gonna is like gonna be fucked up. I know it's gonna be no, fucked up for people. Up. All right. It's just, it's a sensitive topic for some of the viewers. Okay. That's just a subject. Anyway, Try and keep I'm gonna go into. Sure. Hold on, if you haven't done it so far, like, subscribe, comment. Go ahead. So why don't they have free STD tests out here? You know what I'm saying? Why like, but you had the free <laughs> vaccinate, like. <laughs> but you know what? Free abortions. Hey, that's it. Boom! Thank you. We gonna have, we gonna have you on turn on the next one. This is supposed to be going get. <laughs> <laughs> Background production, right there. We're doing great. So you can't get a free abortion. Okay. You understand? If I don't want this child, then I have to, you know, what I'm saying, give it up for adoption. That's more money. But you gonna sit here and and give me free vaccinations? You know what I'm saying? Like. Because you wanna know what. Having a baby, having a baby ain't affecting the whole world in a deathly kind of way, though, right? You know what I'm saying? Could fucking up the population on the earth. Serial killer, I feel like we're in a different category. Mm -hmm. Well, (laughs) I'm sorry, that was just me. I'm just saying, okay, y'all having little Chucky babies out here. (laughs) Shout out to my daughter, the the entertainer. What if, what if, like, you know, saying, like, what if? You have a child. You have the child. You want an right. abortion, right? But you couldn't afford abortion, whatever right. case is. You have that child, and that child grows up and don't get vaccinated to catch COVID and be killing other people. Boom. Ooh, damn. <laughs> see how see how all comes around? I mean, I'm just, I'm just, I'm reaching right now. But all right. I'm just, all right, I'm so just saying. To wrap this up, right? What is, like, your final thoughts about the vaccination, the mask coming off, the mask coming back on, the Delta, just being vaccinated all in the world? As of um, right now, what is this, like August No, Normally 20, I get sick at least once August a year. August 30th? You know what I'm saying? But, I mean, since I've been wearing a mask, I haven't really gotten sick at all. Right. I'm for wearing a mask. I might continue, like, even though, even after I get fully vaccinated, I'm probably going to still wear my mask for all the people that love to yeah. sneeze yeah. And, sh- and stuff and don't cover their mouth. You know what I'm saying? I just, I like wearing my hey, mask. Hey, Loki, so. let me ask you this question before we wrap it up, because I ain't going to lie. Every time I've been half vaxxed, right, I low-key ain't as scared as I used to be. I just don't say it. Do you do you feel like a little extra like uh, I'm gonna have vax uh when you walk into stores? Like let's say like no, you know like you wear your mask everywhere, right? But then like you forget your mask, right? Mm-hmm. And he's like the ah, I'm gonna have vax, I'll just go in here, I'll be alright. Even once I'm fully vaccinated, I'm still gonna wear my mask, I'm still gonna take the necessary precaution as long as you know what I'm saying, like people that are vaccinated are still getting delta okay. virus. You know what I'm saying? Like okay. I, I don't want I have not had COVID yet and I just don't want it on my on my record. So right. you know what I'm saying, I'm gonna do what I need to do. So basically, get vax, don't get vax, up to you. But when they come through, just be ready. It's your boy, Sir Petty258, Toxic as Fuck Podcast. Oh, she don't have no outro. Hey, like, subscribe, comment, tell a friend, tell a friend. You need to call, hit me up. We out of here. We out of here.